My name is Conan Soliday, and I'm running for New Hampshire State Representative, Cheshire, District 7, Keene, Ward 4. The main reason for my running is to represent the voters in New Hampshire who truly appreciate the benefits of living free, and for those who have lost faith in an expanding government that increasingly benefits itself rather than the people. My whole life I've watched every level of government increase in size and scope, taking on more and more responsibilities, writing new laws, adding new entitlements, and of course, demanding more tax funding to support that bureaucracy. All the while, the rights of the people have been slowly eroded away in the name of added security. In essence, our once great country made up of free individuals has slowly transformed into an overreaching, overprotective nanny state. The proper role of government is to protect the individual rights of its citizens. That is the only type of government that I can support. Any legislation I sponsor or support will fall in line with this philosophy. Any programs that do not specifically protect the rights of the individual should be handled by the free market. As it currently stands, typical representation from Keene is made up, the, made up of the we need more laws, nanny state type politicians. We don't need more laws. We need to weed through the existing ones and repeal and or reform any that unnecessarily complicate our lives. For example, there are two hot issues affecting New Hampshire residents that could stand a bit of reform. The first is the fail war, failed war on drugs. Like alcohol prohibition, which was also enacted by well-intentioned do-gooders, the war on drugs has caused serious generational harm and has done nothing to curb drug use in this state. Currently, we face an opioid epidemic that many lawmakers falsely believe can be solved by spending more on SWAT teams and forced treatment facilities. Both of these solutions will only drive the problem further underground and cost taxpayers dearly. It's time to follow Portugal's lead and decriminalize all drugs. Fifteen years ago, they made the bold decision to divert resources spent on prosecuting, prosecuting and imprisoning addicts and instead made those funds available to treatment programs. The move has been extremely successful in lowering overall drug use, overdoses, and drug-related crime, all the while freeing up its police force to focus their energy on real crimes with real victims. It's apt time that New Hampshire follow suit. The second is the ever-expanding property tax rate that hurts all residents and businesses of New Hampshire, but most especially those of lower income. I've heard plenty of politicians on both sides of the aisle predicting a grim future for a graying New Hampshire and its outdated tax system that is chasing away businesses and the next generation of workers that would man those facilities. This is a real problem that will have dire consequences for the future economy of New Hampshire if it is not tackled soon. But it seems none are capable or willing to embrace the correct solution and that is to cut back on spending and shrink the size of government. And no, the answer is not to switch to an income tax or create some additional sales tax. Compulsory taxation is theft and it's immoral. It's outdated, it's barbaric, and it only leads to an unfree society. It is for this reason that I gladly take the pledge that I will never support any income or sales tax and will make every effort to reducing the property tax rate in this state. Believe it or not, there are other alternatives to funding a government that doesn't require force. These include privatizing services, selling off unused public assets, and most especially, eliminating government programs that don't specifically protect the rights of the individual. And it can be done, it must be done, but change is hard for so many. If you truly care about the future of this country and of this state, and are ready to make the common sense changes necessary to supporting a healthy and truly free society, then you should vote for me. My name is Conan Soliday, and I hope to see you at the polling station Tuesday, September 13th. And if you're a registered Republican, as there is no Ward 4 candidate, please consider writing me in. I can also be reached at conansoliday at gmail.com. Thank you.